to attempt the greatest comeback in the history of sports, you're going to have to be better than you've ever been. Might we suggest new improved Wheaties? I bet eat my Wheaties. That sight gag could only have been devised and pulled off by Buster Keaton. He was a great athlete who did almost all his own stunts, and some of them are absolutely incredible. Keaton could do it all, but he often didn't take credit for it. In fact, he poked fun of credit hogs in the playhouse, in which, with cunning camera magic, he played every part, even his own wife. Keaton's real-life widow, Eleanor, now travels the globe attending tributes to her late husband and keeping the flame lit in his memory. She knows firsthand what a perfectionist he was and how audience previews and the willingness to work on a sequence until it was just right paid off for a film like Seven Chances. He didn't like the film very much and he thought it wasn't all that wonderful. And there was a point where he started running down a hill to get rid of these all these would-be brides. And they dislodged a couple of rocks and the rocks started chasing him. And when they saw that in the projection, he says, uh-huh, this could do it. So they went back and built 2,500 paper mache rocks of all sizes and went back and put, went down the hill again. And that, he said that saved the film. Eleanor also knows the question everyone asks when first encountering Buster's image on film. My daughter wants to know why Buster never smiled. How did he explain that? Well, it's because he was raised in vaudeville. And when he was four years old, he started working for a living. And they found out very early that when he laughed and had a good time on the stage, the audience didn't think it was funny. He had to take very seriously what he was doing in order for the audience to enjoy it more. Buster's other trademark, beside his great stone face, was his pork pie hat. Start with a regular old fedora from the market, I mean, from the hat store. And, uh, and what do you do? And voila. There you go. A Buster Keaton pork pie hat. <laughs> Official issue. Official issue. Like watching the videos, just seeing that hat helps bring a movie great back to life. In every way, a comedy innovator. And his films, if you've never seen them, are now on video and not to be missed. Look for the ones that say Kino on video. That's the company releasing these gorgeous new prints with very nice music scores. They're also available on Laserdisc. Now, Leonard, you mentioned uh, movie magic a couple of times in there, but basically, didn't he do all the stunts by himself with no trickery? He did virtually everything. There were tricks from time to time. He was not a fool. He was not going to put his life in total risk. But you saw those things with him leaping and falling and tumbling. Those were real. And the way he did it was he got hurt, but he didn't care that he got hurt. He wanted to get the scene and get the laugh. Unbelievable. Wow. Mm -hmm. Great story. Thanks. Thank you, Leonard. Great. Can you imagine Paul Newman with stage fright? Newman looks back at how it felt to learn acting from the masters in this weekend's coming attraction. I was so frightened when I got out on stage that they mistook it for anger and they asked me to join. <laughs> Paul Newman kicks off a new series that takes you inside the actor's studio, the famous training ground for an acclaimed roster of actors. It was such a stunning uh, thing just to be an observer there and to watch uh, Marlon and Judy Harris. And so I kept my mouth shut and my ears open, and, and uh, that's the way I seem to learn. It's spring here in southeast Alaska, and the Grizzlies are on the move. Northern Exposure's Darren...